Welcome to my latest new rack video. Uh, today we're going to go over some of the latest updates, including dark mode. Now before we start I just want to say a big thank you to Andre for his amazing Digistix uh, demos so um, yeah sorry for indulging you there. But on to uh, the main topic uh, in question here which is the new additions to new rack and <clears throat> I'm going to go through a few of these uh, because I think um, you probably wouldn't find them normally if I didn't point them out. Now probably the most requested feature has been a dark mode because running in AUM here everything's quite bright. So if you head off into settings and click on the interface tab you'll see now we have an option to change to dark mode which actually colours the interface similar to AUM. Now the other thing you should notice here is the new uh, shelf filter module and I've added that a gain control and an LED strip to this rack because I'm going to make a, a, a little channel strip. If we go into interface builder mode um, everything's kind of uh, grouped together so I'm just going to remove the um, titles and borders from each of these elements and try and center those LED lights. Um, Ordinarily though, a channel strip would not have a knob for the gain control, it would have a slider. And that leads to the second new change. Now if you make a selection of one or more knobs, and then hit the options button in the tools palette, you now have an option to convert knobs to faders. Now that fader is actually cut off by the surrounding uh, module frame so if we uncheck the clip to bounds we can then stretch that and make it as big as we want. So if you see here we've actually now made a little mini channel strip out of those three elements. And these can be coloured and repositioned and saved off to uh, create your own little custom uh, channel strip. Okay, so we've gone over uh, the new shelving filter module and we've seen how to convert knobs into faders. Now if you take a look at the add effect uh, menu you'll see that we've now got a new generators uh, section and inside there there's just one element at the minute which is a noise module which can create white or pink noise. Now you probably wonder what we need that for but um, you can do some interesting things with white and pink noise. Um, so what I'm going to do now is add a classic filter and obviously with a filter if you adjust the cutoff you get something that kind of resembles wind. Which leads me to the next addition which is an automation module called uh, Visual LFO. So let's take a look at that right now. Now just like all automation modules in new rack you have to actually assign the output from this module to a knob or slider. In this case I'm going to hit the assign button and select the, um, the cutoff frequency of the uh, filter and already we can hear that the, uh, the modulation is cycling that uh, cutoff knob. Now if we try picking different options from that uh, shape selector and slow down that wave you can get to see the square waves and the ramps. We can do a ramp up, ramp down. We can also do random uh, which uh, just picks random values. Uh, that probably works better with a faster speed. Either way. Um, 
and we can actually do this kind of pseudo random thing which actually flips between the different uh, shapes just does one cycle of each shape randomly now we can use the range knob to determine how high those peaks and troughs are and we can use the center knob to determine the offset of, of the control knob that is um, and there's also a smooth knob which allows us to actually get rid of some of these um, sharp corners and, and smooth out the trace now if I take that smoothing knob and increase it to the extreme you can see that we've got kind of a wind-like um, fluctuation should I say now if you're that way inclined it would be an easy job just to uh, flip to interface builder mode uh, and tight it up as one single interface and call it wind machine um, so let's just have a look yeah simple as that and that's just those three modules added together and I've flipped to transparent window mode so that the uh, little wave display uh, is transparent we can see through it now in a recent update we added a Leslie speaker simulator um, and I had a big request for adding uh, fast slow buttons to the effect so uh, we've now added these there's a fast slow and a stop button And that's a nice improvement, I think you'll agree. Uh, another new module we've added to the spectral uh, section is the uh, harmonic exciter. Now, don't be confused between this and a graphic equalizer, they're two totally different things. We've got control over the harmonics within uh, various frequency ranges of the audio, and we're just going to give that a little blast. We've also got different profiles. And that excites different harmonics, you know, thirds, fifths, sevenths, and so on. So let's see how that sounds. Now you can be as dramatic or subtle as you want with that but it's a nice way of actually getting more bass or mid or treble out of a mix where you're struggling with a graphic equaliser. Now I'm sure most of you know but there's actually two uh, different versions of New Rack um, and if we do a little search for New Rack here you'll see that there's actually a standard version and a MIDI version. Now the only difference really is that one allows MIDI input and the other one doesn't and it's important that we use that one when I uh, uh, show you what uh, what we've got next um, basically there's a new section called instruments with uh, four of these instruments in here now these aren't really instruments as you think of instruments um, yes they're a sound source um, but they're really intended as being modulators for other effects like the talk box and uh, possibly a vocoder coming soon now I've loaded the flute uh, module and, and this is quite interesting because it creates a, a procedurally generated flute and you can do some interesting things with it such as changing the blow angle with your modulation wheel like I'm doing here.
Now, as I mentioned before, these are not really to be treated as real instruments. They're just here to create sounds that are rich in harmonics to be used for a carrier tone for vocoder type effects. And finally, uh, due to us adding um, MIDI based instruments into new rack, um, we've had to disable the rack switching, MIDI rack switching by default. But you can turn that back on again in settings by hitting the remote tab and turning that option on. Um, when this is enabled, you can actually use uh, MIDI notes to switch between these three racks. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.